Hello, people of the internet. You ever have those days where you go to sleep just fine and then you wake up and you're literally dying? That's my day. And I do not feel good at all. So I'm only going to do one date today, which... Sorry, I'm just sick and I can't deal with this. I get really sick. I think I've mentioned it before, but like... Sometimes I get to the point where I'm so sick that when I sneeze, it comes out of my eyes, and that's not healthy. So I don't want to sneeze out of my eyes on camera, so I'm just gonna... <sighs> Craig is the only one we haven't gone on a first date with. So, uh, he is a dad of three, a business entrepreneur, uh, and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's gotta do it. Uh, get one last good cardio session in. A box of energy bars, a sub, six minute mile. Uh, beer pong world champion. Uh, buddy cop movies forever. Uh, scaling a huge dangerous mountain for fun. An extra tube of energy gel. Uh, my mile time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? It's alright, Craig Con. We'll... We'll do a thing. Uh, your voice by Nate wants to battle, right? Right? Grow your own vegetables. It's cheaper, I think. I used to grow my own vegetables. The green beans tasted amazing. They were really great. Nothing can beat reading in print. Oh, oh. come on. Alright. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Hey bro, or should I say neighbor, uh, let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Uh, bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, uh, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment, this could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. Exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Huh. Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Mm -hmm. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Got my nose. Ugh. Yeah, sorry. Craig invited us to a softball game. Would it go? Oh. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and someone hit a ball toward me and I just ran off of the field crying? And then you hit the dugout and would scream if I pick, uh, tried to pick you up. Yes. Oh. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball. Pretty sure, uh, pretty sure baseballs and softballs are different. Because otherwise, why are they two different sports, right? Uh, so does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye. Determined. Aww. Finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field. For kids' softball game, it's pretty packed. Uh, we clamber up the beach, uh, bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Aww. So when do the kids start crying and running off of the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Mm. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. <laughs> Definitely not that. The game starts and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has River strapped to his chest, as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Man, if my school mascot was a pancake, I might have actually enjoyed school. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks? Oh, man. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. <laughs> Yeah, Miranda, square up. How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite their name. Hmm. But yelling is fun. Yeah. Give it a shot. It's cathartic. Keep your eye on the ball. What's important is that you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? Uh. Keep your eye on the ball and also an eye on the bat. 
at the outfield, at the other players. Just keep your eye on all that stuff simultaneously. <laughs> nice. We watch a couple innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig, uh, Craig's trained his team pretty well. Seems like he's really good with kids. Well, he has to be if he has three of them. Kickstand Craig is good with children. Ugh. Eh? It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off of the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Ooh. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out into center field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. Huh? See? It's a completely justifiable fear. The girl plops out on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off of the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off of, off of a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. Yeah, it really sounds like he's changed. <laughs> the game resumes after the girl calms down a bit, and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. I guess it helps with their digestion or something. Guess they're like cats and dogs. A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. Ouch. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Huh? I caught the ball! You saved me! Huh. I caught the ball! Dad, I caught the ball! You did it, Amanda! I faced my fears! I defeated the softball! I can do anything! Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends in Craig... Uh, and Craig's team are declared the victors. You should probably put an ap apostrophe S there to show ownership or something. Ah, we sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Hmm. Great job, everyone. Uh, I sound even sicker. Wouldn't try to beat Nate Woods battle. <laughs> we walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's w talking with some of the parents. Craig, uh, great work, man. Hmm. Thanks! We've been working hard all season, it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Yes, uh, we sold brownies to them, right? Yeah, I sold brownies to them. Hello! Hey, killer playing out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which of you is the evil one? Hazel. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Good looking out. <laughs> you, you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. Should you be saying this in front of your father? And I usually throw rocks and stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. What? Hmm. Well, we will talk about this later. Huh? <laughs> Bro, I've just got a couple more things to clean up, and then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the mobs jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, man. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo-goo eyes. Man, this mob is laying it on thick. Thick. Amanda and I share a look, with a capital L, look. Hmm. All right, all right, as the glow of my bro comes along, the mob looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Mm. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? Huh. What? It's a real place. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Man, this this pizza place is so ironically named. I love it. Alright. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Um, uh, excuse me, but... 
You do not use awful to describe pizza. And do not... Remember how he used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Listen. Greg, Ram, I'm a fat guy, but I know my limits. An entire pizza, fold it in half and put taco fillings inside... Even I have limits. Come on. Ah, Pizzacos. I could never forget. Uh, how did we survive college? I don't know. Your heart should have exploded. Our bodies were younger back then. More elastic. We're able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Man and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Hey, give me a piece of that. Ah. No, absolutely not. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Craig. Craig. We'll go to a pizza place. You eat pizza, okay? You already had your cheat day, I know. I gave you that brownie, but come on. Come on. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. <laughs> Dad! A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm I had to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Martha, get out. This is my man. This is my man. Okay. Man and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. I... Uh, thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mob and what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Create a diversion. Tag team with Amanda. Smoke screen, Martha. Uh, let's tag team. I give Amanda another knowing look, and she hits me back with a nod. She understands. Amanda puts a hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Uh. Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. <laughs> oh no, sweetie, you're not gonna project that vomit everywhere, are you? Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna projectile vomit everywhere right now. Ugh. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's not budging. <laughs> uh, back it up, Martha. You're in the slash zone. I drink a lot of more juice this morning and it's feeling pretty acidic. Oh man, you're a really good actor, man. I mean, just look at that face. You look about as sick as I am. Just nose needs to be a little bit redder. And your throat needs to be a little bit more sore. And then you need to be speaking like a pirate all the time. You'll be fine. Amanda shoots me a worried look. This con is going sideways. I should have known that a mob of all people would know the fake puke scam. Oh. Uh, well, I guess it went away and I'm fine now and nothing's wrong. <sighs> she turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I can always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Oh, this lady is really going for the gold. Bro! <laughs> It'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, uh, but thanks for the invite. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine. I swear if we have to buy it. Martha storms off with her, toward her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Thirsty, very, very thirsty. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Dicks all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens. Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. <laughs> Finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Mm. Only on days like today, I hope. Dad? Mm -hmm. Hey, girls. 
Dad, can you help us beat our record on Dance Dance Revolution, I believe that is? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Oh, man. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad... Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. I don't know. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. <sighs> Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. Definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Huh. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Wanna drop some coin on pinball? Really? Pinball? Pinball. Of all things, pinball. <laughs> you know it. A man and I pull up to a machine that's pretty hot uh, and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge a man at a top mine. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Aww. Don't patronize me. I'm not a bunny rabbit. I don't patronize bunny rabbits. Hey, just trying to pay a compliment. Uh, Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score. But I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Oh uh, yeah, we went to college together. <sighs> Please don't lean on my thing. Ah, uh, that's so interesting. So do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, I honestly don't know if I can huh? say, Seriously, you're gonna make it guilt! Because it's just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it'd be great if he... Hmm. Lady, I swear to God, I will murder you if you tilt my machine! All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. <laughs> you stone harpy! What? Ugh. I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings! Manta. Nice. Uh, bro, what's going on? Mm. Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick good goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place. Finally. Finally, just a moment for ourselves. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Thanks. I uh, hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. <laughs> Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. I might join you in a second. I'm gonna try not to, though. Well, almost all to myself. Uh, hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Oh. Up for some catch. This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it. But sure. Same, Ram. Same. Stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. Oh. I have a cooler car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. A cooler in my car. I don't have a cooler car. I'm not saying that my car is cooler than yours. I mean, it is, but... D d never mind. Man, fatherhood is strange. Nice. Oh, you're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my Kegstead Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal Kegstead. Mm. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long. Don't even know where to begin. Ask about coaching softball. Ask about the business. Ask about the kids. I can't believe you're a father of three. Oh. Neither can I. You know me, I'm an indecisive person. I switched your major four times. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. But raising kids, when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure out things that out led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing to ever happen to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me, and I would still be proud of the life I lived. <sighs> Ask about coaching softball. Ask about the business. Uh, so you run a business now? Bro. <laughs> yep. We sell fitness gear. 
imports and exports mostly, but we're, we're coming up with our own line of uh, athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd make a killing. Oh. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. Oh. That is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to. Yes. Ask about coaching softball. So was softball coach the life you wanted, or was it the life that was thrust upon you? Oh. <laughs> I'll admit that I was hesitant at first. Briar and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did it, the more time I... The, what? The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit. <sighs> I, I remember. I wish there'd been a riot when one teacher had quit. I really wish there had been. Such disappointment. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. I don't know. Uh, they're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Exactly. Uh -huh. It's nice out here. Quiet. Uh, must be good to get away from the softball mobs for a bit, huh? I don't know. Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was... A lot. Are they always like that? Nice. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Excuse me? This is the good days? Yikes is right, Ram. I'm just, I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oh. Hmm. Peace and quiet. That hot, hot silence. Hey! My... Ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, that is quite a fantasy to have. Nice. More seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. I don't know. Crap. I, and I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. I've already been through so much, I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. Oh. So the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. You're doing a great job. The right person will come along eventually. Hit softballs. Don't get hit on by moms. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that one. A wise man once said that. I'm quoting myself. Copyright. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Well, I'm distracted. I missed the softball event. It hits me right on the head. I don't have a man to save me this time. Ah. As if I needed more pain at this moment in time. Well, that hurts. Amanda was right all along. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Craig, you hit me in the face with a softball and say nice. <laughs> friends from college are we really friends oh my god sorry dude <laughs> Craig runs over to me are you okay yeah I'm fine uh, my feelings are hurt more than my head wait let me do the dad thing for a second Craig spends a moment examining my head oh. it's worse than I thought don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it a better. Oh, ooh, eh. hey! You would be so lucky. That was planned. I mean, oh, kissing is uh, no, no. Uh, uh, I mean, I feel like I've heard it at this point. Waiting all day to hang out with you. I'm no better than the softball moms. Oh, well. <gasps> Eggplants! I got the eggplants, yes! Greg leans in and kisses my forehead. Yay! Thanks. Uh -huh. The river is not happy about that. She's like, really? D did you really just hit on my dad? Ah, oh, are you serious? Are you serial? Walk it off, champ. The lights on this softball field really hot, or is that just me? <laughs> It's just me and the softball moms. We're good friends. I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Oh. Hey, little buddy, you must be getting tired, huh? Mm. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? 
start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? That sounds like a cool story. Go Dude, on. Dude, how could I forget? You had me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh. Oh, man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with them for 30 minutes. What? You told them you were interested in joining the academy? What kind of party was this where the cops are like, Oh, this is a big bust. A big bust. We're going to get them this time. We're going to get a helicopter in. Break it up. What, hey. what, what parties did you attend? And then they started giving pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. Hmm. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug. At least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. Oh. Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Oh. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, yeah? I like that. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her collage, glue stick in hand. Burning the midnight art oil. <laughs> Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter Lip Sync Battles. What are the names of these shows? <laughs> do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Hmm. Yes. I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. <laughs> Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. One quarter is a giant pile of cash. And the other, it's... Man, is that... Me? Oh, you make me want to cry. Huh? Yep, the whole thing is about my goals for the future. <laughs> Those are basically just sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father and my daughter. Yay! <laughs> oh, now you've done it. <laughs> Get ready to watch your back. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> it's happening. Oh. Hi, Dad. You did this with your good heart. You did this. She pats me on the back. Mm. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. As I wop, uh, as I, as I wop, as I wipe the uh, snot from mine. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Mm. Yeah, dude, the softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Except snakes. Do not face the fear of snakes. You do not face the fear of snakes. You just get a rake and you stab them to death. That's all you do with snakes. <sighs> Sorry if you have a snake for a bit. Oh yeah, how about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking. Ram, just shut up now. Don't even. Huh. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let I'll let them know you said hey. Gotta call in the station, like, hey, uh, Ram Kirk said hey. All right, date complete. This doesn't look that good, but it's an S. That was perfect. All right. So, cell phone holster. I'm not a good cell phone holster. Family fun. I'm very family friendly for the family. Gotta do that fun. I'm a dude. I'm also a big baby and I can't catch in a suck at pinball. But, still got a good rank. Still got it going good with Greg. Welcome. You've got dads. And now, I've got dads. But... They're going to have to wait for the next episode. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this episode, even if I'm sick. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!